Hello, I'm Charlie Carter and I'd like to wish you a happy Earth Day. On this 50th anniversary of Earth Day, the American Institute of Steel Construction and the National Steel Bridge Alliance celebrate structural steel's commitment to sustainability. Since Earth Day started, the structural steel industry has decreased its carbon footprint per ton by 36%. We've also lowered our energy intensity per ton by 31% and decreased our greenhouse gas emissions per ton by 45%. We used to be a smokestack industry, but today our steel production is earth friendly. And as the U.S. moves further towards the use of renewable energy, our modern steel production methods continue to shrink the carbon footprint of steel. Join us as we celebrate steel as the most environmentally friendly construction material and help us spread the message of steel sustainability and commitment to a greener industry. Structural steel has an astonishing recycling rate of 98%. At the end of its useful life, when the building is torn down, we collect that scrap and then send it to the mill to be turned into new steel products. The United States has led the charge in developing uh, the electric arc furnace technology to make new steel products. Uh, Nucor uses that technology at all of our mills and our recycling rate is approximately 93% for all of our structural products. Every year, the North American steel industry recycles approximately 60 to 80 million tons of steel. At Nucor, we recycle approximately 20 million tons of steel ourselves every year. That's the equivalent of one new car every two seconds, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Adaptability and recyclability are keys to the most sustainable long-term solutions for any construction material, and steel is great for both. From a comparative study of an eight-story office building, the MKA research team found that a structural steel building, if optimally carbon sourced, had a potential for a lower carbon footprint than a timber building. Now, that wasn't what we expected when we started that study. If the material on the timber comes from unsustainable harvesting and that carbon footprint data gets included, that's actually the findings you get. If we're going to be credible with our building sustainability claims, we have to include the upstream reporting, the inventory control that includes where the material comes from and the transparency around the embodied carbon associated with its creation. I would like to encourage our fellow fabricator competitors to, to look seriously at investing in solar panels. We're trying to do our part in helping with sustainability so we move forward with the investment in solar power. We had a number of solar power companies come and, and talk to us about the benefits of solar power. We analyzed it, of course, you had federal tax incentives and in some cases state incentives. The tax incentives worked out exactly as described and we are saving roughly 10% on our power bills every year and it's obviously it's good for the environment. We need to look at our use of all materials as precious resources that we use wisely. Steel is very unique in what it can do. The sustainability key is always using materials where they are most efficient. When steel is the optimal choice and when the design is also optimized, we've shown it to be just as in body carbon efficient or more than all the alternatives.